Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending October 2nd. Some of you probably remember this summer a biker posted a video of getting stopped by an off-duty cop that was not even showing a badge or not even in a marked squad car. His name was Anthony Graber and the trial was scheduled for October 12th and as moto vloggers and I am one myself and also people just filming in public this could have been a very very bad test case if it would have went wrong but fortunately Judge Emery A. Pitt this is according to this is from the Baltimore Sun he tossed out all of the charges except for the traffic violations against Anthony Graber now if you've seen the video that you you notice in the first few seconds the guy does not even identify himself as a police officer he just asks the guy to get off his motorcycle and he's holding a gun so the guy had rightfully a reason to believe that the guy was probably even trying to take his motorcycle or something he did later identify himself after he pulled the gun he did identify himself as a police officer but this sets a very bad precedent for us as moto, moto vloggers and also for people just filming in the public in general but the judge was pretty good in this in fact he made a statement he said those of us who are public officials and are entrusted with the power of the state are ultimately accountable to the public when we exercise the power in public we should not expect our actions to be shielded from public observation so the judge did really come out for the rights of the public to film in public and especially due to the case that in public they're allowed to film you whether it be government agencies or corporations we're filmed all the time we can't hardly go anywhere without being filmed including traffic signal uh, cameras and stuff like that which they've brought to this area so I think this is a very good case they also have the original video that you can see here I will post a link as I usually do down to the bottom so those of you that missed the original video can see this second up do you know the UN actually has a space ambassador to aliens her name is Maslan Othman she's a Malaysian astrophysicist she is also head of a little known um, office for outer space affairs is called the UN office for outer space affairs or UNUSA I guess you would pronounce it and uh, as they search for extraterrestrials or should any extraterrestrials actually come to visit she would be the ambassador now this is kind of weird because it's noted on here opinion is divided about how future extraterrestrial visitors should be treated under the outer space treaty of 1967 which she actually oversees UN members agree to protect earth against contamination by alien species by sterilizing them and it says Mrs. Othman is understood to support a much more tolerant approach yeah that would be pretty bad if aliens come to visit us and the first thing we do is try to kill them off but yeah we actually do have an ambassador to the aliens should they arrive or I guess should we discover aliens close enough by that we can make contact with them so she is our ambassador and next we have up some of you probably remember the 3d rendering program or I don't know 3d creating rendering program whatever you would call it blender it's an open source and actually a bunch of people got together with fans and as an open source pro project supported actually by thousands of fans and donations through the blender project and people working on it without the help of Hollywood have actually made a short film and this is really great I did check it out it's listed as a running time of about 1448 but the actual running time of the film itself is about 1230 it's a fantasy type of 3D animation film it is excellent it's called Sintel S-I-N-T-E-L it's at the channel called Blender Foundation on YouTube I'll put a link to that too but I'd urge everybody if possible to support any kind of open source and free alternatives to Hollywood to the big media corporations because there's no reason why a dedicated group of fans can't get the talent together and actually give Hollywood a run for their money and if you actually see this thing you'll see that it's not amateurish looking at all it, it looks as good as anything and probably better than some stuff I've actually gone and seen at the movie theater so I would urge you to pick a project and support an open source project they have several of them out there if you do searches on Google there are movies there are all kinds of projects in the work and all they ask for is a small donation maybe just send five or ten dollars to donate towards the project and you'll get credit for it in the uh, end of the credits you'll see when the credits roll on this they give credit to everybody that even gave small donations in this project so support open source and free it's always good and last up a friend of mine Navy Thomas remember the bald-headed guy that swears a lot well he did a, a spoof of the TDD report so I'm gonna close out with a little bit of his but I'll, I urge you to go and check out the whole video at his website it's it's really funny I really enjoy that when people tease me or do spoofs or anything like that so 
Uh, check out Navy Thomas's full video, and I will catch you guys next week. Hello. This is the TDD report for September 26th, 2010. I am Suburban Rider.